Let me tell you how exactly we perform Merch Sort very comfortably. The formula that is going to be the mid is equal to upper bound plus lower bound divided by 2. Hello everyone, I welcome all of you to the yet another interesting session on searching and sorting. So my dear students, you will be worried, right? So because we have six different types of sorting and how do I remember all the different types of sorting? It's very difficult to remember the concept of different types of sorting. So I'm making a simple clip for all of you to remember this topic easily. If you want to know this topic, it will not take much of your time if you watch my video. So let me keep it very simple and very small and short. So guys, today's topic is all about merge sort. Let me tell you how exactly we perform merge sort very comfortably. So guys, the first thing that you need to remember is all about, I will be considering the unsorted array. All right, so first thing that you need to remember, the unsorted array. So obviously, sir, when I want to sort, obviously I need to have an unsorted array. So that's the first thing that we all know that. Second thing, what exactly that we are using when we want to perform merge sort? So we are performing divide and conquer. So divide and conquer in the sense, whenever I have the unsorted array, I will calculate the mid value. So I will be performing the calculation of mid value until I get the elements individually. So whatever I have in the array, so I want to separate that individually. So until then, I will be performing to perform what I will be calculating the mid value. So that's what you need to remember. Sir, how do we calculate the mid value, sir? Do you all remember we had a concept called binary search? So in the binary search, we have used the formula that is going to be the mid is equal to upper bound plus lower bound divided by two. We can also perform lower bound plus upper bound divided by two. So this will give me the value that is going to be the mid value. So guys, so basically, I will calculate the mid value in each and every step. So till when recursively you will calculate recursively in the sense again and again the same function call itself. Okay. So till when you will be calculating the mid value. So till you get the values individually. So that's what you need to remember. So fine. Let me explain the flow first. So guys, basically I have an unsorted array. So I'm going to divide this into two different parts. So so how many elements that I have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So fine. So if I calculate the mid value for this array, obviously I will get two different arrays, which has got four elements in the first part and four elements in the second part. So fine. So let me start explaining this side first and then I will come to that side. Okay. So guys, when it comes to this sub array, again, I will calculate the mid value. So I have four. So if I calculate the mid value, obviously two. So this is separate array and that is separate array. So again, I will calculate the mid value. So guys, obviously, so you all know, right? So upper bound and lower bound, if I calculate that, so I will be separating the values. So I have 56 and 29. So separately, I will keep it. So again, same thing here, 35 and 42, I will separate it. So this level, what you are seeing, so I got the individual values from the array. So now I have divided the array into a single elements. That is the first part of merge sort. So fine, you have divided the array. So what next? So now I need to merge into a sorted array. How do I merge is very, very important. So guys, observe here. So when I'm merging, so what happens is I will compare two elements. So guys, in this two elements, which one is lesser? So I will shift it this side. Okay, which one is greater? I will shift it to a right side. So that's what I will be doing. Same thing, I will repeat it here. So 35, so it is lesser value than 42. I will place it 35 in the left part and 42 in the right part. So that's what you need to remember. So fine, again, this is sorted, all right? So again, I will merge these two, okay? So how do I do that? So guys, first, I will compare this 29 with all the values. That's what you need to remember. And if it is lesser, so I'll place it here. Then I have 56, guys. So remember, I have 56. So 56 is greater than 35. So first, I will place 35. That's what you need to remember. And then 42, I will place. And then lastly, I will place the 56. So this is a sorted part. The same step will be repeated here also. Guys, I have got 
to sorted arrays. So same step, what I have done here, I will repeat here the same thing. And then what I have done here, I will repeat it here again. The same step will be repeated recursively. I will check for the position of the element. So where exactly I have to place based on the weightage of that particular value. So guys, in an increasing order, I will start placing each and every individual element that I have in the arrays. So finally, so this will be the result after merging all the elements in the sorted order. This is how I will be performing the merge sort quickly, you need to remember. So with this, I have come to an end of the merge sort. So guys, in the next session, I will be explaining the next type of sort. So till then, take care. Bye-bye.